It was mind blown right now. You ever thought about that though? Because we're, again, we're talking about what is real, what's not real. Okay, that's in, in psychology, as I said before, that there are a lot of you know psychologists that believe that if you can touch it, feel it, then it's real. If it's not, then it's not real. Okay. I like talking about this and tying it into this whole idea of things that we cannot measure. Um, and um, you know, one of the things uh, that I like talking about, in, like I said, in this area, is have you guys seen anything? Did we talk about a little bit about ghosts? Have you guys seen things that made you wonder? How many believe in ghosts? Raise your hand. Okay. Have you experienced anything? Seen anything? One. Oh yeah? One. Yeah. Do you want to share that? I'll share mine first and then you can, if you want, some experiences. And I'll tell you what I experienced to start off with. Did I tell you about the, when my sister and I were in Maricopa visiting a friend? <clears throat> and we were visiting a friend of hers who lived in a mobile home. And again, understand something. I'm kind of mixed between where my culture believes in a lot of the things that are spiritual and you really can't you know, touch it, feel it, but it's still there. And at the same time, and I was taught as, for well, my PhD, something scientific. You've got to measure it. So, you know. so I had this dichotomy going on in my head. So we were visiting her, her friend who had done some paintings of Jesus, right? And so we're you know, checking it out. And we're done. We're getting ready to leave. I was standing here. My sister was standing right next to me. You had the fence. The friend was right here facing us. You had the mobile home right behind her. And um, the door was open. We had just come out. And at the exact same time, my sister uh, and I go, did you see that? And what did you see? There's somebody in the house. We just came out. What I saw, okay, what I saw were skin colored, you know, kind of, kind of the fingers, like three thick fingers opening up the, the, uh, the curtains. And then when we looked, it let it go. She saw claws, right? We talked about it afterwards. So that, no, we were just there. Nobody's in there. Well, let's go back in. So we went back in, right? So I'm going back in, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, well, there's the living room. Right off the living room was the bedroom. And I'm thinking, uh, okay, well, maybe somebody went and hid over there, right? So I go into the bedroom. Then I hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, just kidding. I didn't hear that. But I walk in there, you know, looking around, see if there's anybody in there. Nobody was there. Came back out into the living room, hit this one spot. Boom, got to chill. Stepped out. No chill. Stepped in. Chill. Okay. What's the first thing you think about if you have a chill like that? First thought. What could be causing it? What do you think? Either the, well, first, again, remember, scientifically, I want to think rationally, air conditioning vent. Right? Okay, so I'm looking around. No air conditioning vent whatsoever. Still had that chill. Bless you. Okay, it took me a while to get that chill off of me, when, even when we were driving home. So, let me ask you this. Do you think that my sister and I were hallucinating? Did we see something? Did we not? Okay, maybe this will help you out, too. We found out later that where the mobile home was, there used to be a, a bar that burned down. And I think somebody had maybe died there or something from that. What do you think? Oh, I just have to say, no alcohol or drugs were involved in the, you know, this experience. What do you guys think? Have you ever had anything like that? Is it anything that you? Yeah. Kind of like that. My grandpa just died. Oh, really? And um, in his house, and he went to the bathroom. Hmm. Really? How long ago did he pass away? It was like four or five years ago. Yeah, but soon after that, that I mean. Did this sort of things moving or anything of that nature or uh, well, not really moving. Just just weird things happening. So really weird things? Anybody else have any experience like that? Or know someone who has? It's amazing, like I said, the things are out there. We just don't know. I mean it, I even in my head I'm thinking, okay, well this is kind of interesting. Another let me give you another story. There was a friend of mine who I switched off uh, massage I was trained as a massage therapist when I was in California. And we were switching off massages, and she lived in Arizona City. And there's something, anybody going to a massage, massage therapy? Okay, we do have a program there. 
Um, you know, I was doing a, an energy balance where basically after the massage, you, you just go to the feet and just kind of I told her, imagine a bright light shining from the top all the way down, and, uh, and I'll do the same thing. So, okay, so didn't say anything, anything more, so I was just concentrating, closed my eyes, and, and it seemed to get stuck around her heart area, and I said, is it getting kind of stuck there? She goes, yeah. So just shine a really bright, pure light through your heart. Now imagine the same thing. Okay, so didn't say anything else. As I imagined a bright light going through her heart, it hit this one dark spot. And then what I sensed, and what I kind of saw in my mind's eye, with my eyes closed, was this long, dark monkey figure scurry out the window. And I'm like, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, I started praying because it felt evil, right? <laughs> kind of thing. And I didn't say anything to her. I was just praying to myself. And uh, afterwards, when she came out, I said, did anything interesting happen when we were doing the energy balance? She goes, yeah. I, I, and she described exactly what I saw without me having to tell her anything. <laughs> real? Not real? Makes you question what is really real? I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I nuts? Again, no alcohol or drugs were involved in the you know, experience that I just went through. What do you think? You all think, I'm going to change my class now. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay. Any thoughts on that? What do you think? Hmm, true. Yeah, so I don't know all the answers are connected you know, with it. But again, these experiences, I'm looking at it scientifically. I can't figure this out. Another thing, one more thing. Uh, did your grandfather appear to you at any time, like in a dream or anything like that, or any of your family members? I don't remember. Don't remember? Okay. Yeah, because there's, there's times that they'll do, it's kind of a dream when we talk about dreams, uh, where you're kind of a half awake, half asleep, kind of a lucid dream, you're kind of awake. That's when sometimes they say spirits will appear to you and, and, and talk to you mm -hmm. um, during those times. Okay, so here's another one, one other experience here uh, that I want to share with you. Um, let me get this down. Anybody know where Eloy is? Small town way over in that side? Small town uh, you know, going out uh, to Tucson outside of Casa Grande. There's a church there that, oh, man, what's it been, like 15, 15 years ago? there was um, a vision of the Virgin Mary up in the bell tower. I don't know if any of you have heard of that. If you have any family members here, they probably did. People were going there in droves to, to see this vision of the Virgin Mary uh, in, in the bell tower from other countries. It was kind of a pilgrimage. It was on the news and everything like that. It was a small little town. And so you had the, the bell tower right here, right? Okay, and so here's the bell type of thing. What showed up was on the corner, inside corner, something that was bright, right? My, my sister and my mom, you know, they came, oh, you got to go check it out, you got to check it out. I just started teaching here at CAC. And, um, and I said, all right, cool. My dad's the skeptic. He goes, look around, check it out, see who's causing it, right? Okay, so all right, cool, no problem. So I went and I ended up uh, getting in trouble because I tried to, there was a rectory right here with the light shining up this direction. So I tried, you know, again, process of elimination, put my head up there to kind of block it, see if anything happened, I got yelled at. Okay, so I, okay, fine. So I walked around, seeing the whole church just to see, this is at night, see, um, you know, what could be causing that. Okay, this is what I saw. Okay. Something like that, and it was white on the inside of uh, the bell tower. Okay, and so I'm watching. Now I start watching people. And I saw this one gentleman. He was like, "Ooh, look, look, look! This real beautiful bright light that goes around her belly." So I'm looking. Uh, oh, sure enough, real bright star-like light going across her belly right here, right? So then I look again. I'm, hmm. Oh, there it is again. Well, what had happened is that there was a road on this side, and some cars. As the cars were moving, the light was moving across. So it was really a reflection off the bell onto, but he was seeing it as something special. That makes sense, right? Okay, so I'm like, okay, cool. So I walk around and I'm watching other, people had cameras, they had binoculars. This one lady had binoculars, she was looking at it, oh, I can see her face, it's so beautiful. It's so, she's all, oh, this is beautiful. And I'm like, 
Okay, see? And it's hard. I get the binoculars and I see that. Okay, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I don't go to, to I'm, I'm Catholic, maybe I, I didn't go to confession, I'm not the chosen one, I don't know, I don't see it, I'm sorry, I don't. So, what do you think that means? Was I not a believer enough? Is seeing believing or is believing seeing? What do you think? Maybe they to see what, maybe they saw what they needed to see at the time. Yeah, and that's yeah. Maybe that's maybe they needed to see that at that time. Maybe I didn't, and maybe that's what ends up happening. You see things. You ever? Uh, I talk about the motivational videos that my my wife and I uh, watch or try to listen to in the mornings. You can listen to the same one, Les Brown, over and over again, same one, but you hear it differently depending on where you're at. Okay, so if if you're like, oh dang, that one really boom hits me perfectly. So that could be part of it, right? Okay, it could be the hysteria, people, you know, thinking that they're seeing it and they're seeing it. I don't know. You know, maybe they didn't need to see it as a comfort type of thing, right? Okay. So let me show you one more thing. Okay. We got time. All right. This the, did I show you the thing that I with my my uh, the dog my my mom's chihuahua? No. Okay. So let me go to. my YouTube and it's me okay did I show you this one my sister okay this, okay my mom passed away in August this past August right okay and what ended up happening was this was our first um, our first let me put the volume down because there's a lot of yelling excuse me <laughs> this was our first Thanksgiving without my mom Okay, and uh, so this is just this past Thanksgiving. Now, how many of you have heard of orbs? Okay, what have you heard of orbs? Oh, really? Uh huh. Was it really? Yeah. I'd heard that you could see faces in some of them too. Yeah. So did you recognize the, the the face or anything like that? Really? Interesting. Who else? I saw a hand go up. Yeah. The the theory is that it's energy. The person's energy who passed. There's a lot of skeptics who say, oh, it's just dust, and then the light reflecting off the dust, right, and showing it. Where where did you see the um, the orb at? Uh, at my friend's neighbor's house. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're kind of like, uh, something ain't quite right here, kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. And then, so what did you just start videotaping and see what happens? We videotaped for 20 minutes, and half the time the ones were going from left to right, and like five, ten minutes later, they were going right to left. Really? Yeah. Really? Now, okay, um, this is one of the things that I believe, and this is part of my culture too, that, that this is why, again, part of that uh, the scientific and culture you know, mix match here. I believe that when you have those emotional, if you've lost someone and it just comes out of nowhere, to me, the, the spiritual world is just a veil. Again, quantum theory, it's just another vibration vibrating at a different frequency, string theory. So when you feel the tears starting to come, that to me, I believe that that's, the loved one closest to you at that time because you're starting to feel their energy. You can feel negative energy too. I felt that before as well. And I talk about that in my workshops. But this right here was something that was... Uh, have you ever played this game? You put the... It's just fairly new, I think, and you, just, you kind of click it to see, and then it's kind of like Russian roulette with, uh, with whipped cream kind of thing. So, so just watch and then see what, uh, what you think. Okay, did you see that? Let yeah, me show you again. I'm going to try to stop it. Can you see the orb? Oh, no, it's not dark enough. Okay, can you see it right in front of her face? Going by? Yeah, 
Vamos lá. Did he come in? So what do you think of that? Was it sort of like the orb you? Was it any color or just was kind of white? Uh, same color. Same color? Yeah, and amazing. So did anybody die there or anything like that? That that. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh huh. How did you do that? What, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. So you're actually trying to communicate with them. Kind of thing. Cause I've seen how many of you have seen those ghosts, you know, the the on uh, like the Discovery Channel and stuff like that, where they go and try to get the voices. So did you get anything? Yeah. Oh, you did. What did you get? Really? And it was pretty clear and it was kind of like, yeah. wow. So what'd you do? Click my two. You out of there? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, we got that one, right? Okay, now let's take a look at this one. Now this is, um, we had, because I, I told you that my mom um, was suffering from dementia and had some delusions. And again, this is where, where you take a look. This is... Fascinating to me because I teach this, but at the same time I was experiencing at least my, my, you know, anybody here know anyone who has Alzheimer's or had Alzheimer's or dementia, kind of thing, any delusions or anything like that, that maybe they saw, you know, some hallucinations, things, seeing things that weren't there, hearing things? Not any specific that I can recall. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but you can tell that, and this is where I, where do I say that in the brain, and what they're talking about in uh, what the bleep do we, you know, uh, do we know, or is that the brain really doesn't know the difference between what's happening and what's not. My mom would see me as a little boy, but I was right in front of her. No, 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 Steve's outside. Go, 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 go get him, right? And to me, I'm looking at the neurons. I'm looking at the neurons not firing correctly. Okay, it's like, wow, this is fascinating. Okay, and then sometimes she's fine and lucid. But she's you know, aware, but then other times not. Okay, there are times that she would see somebody on the, in the porch in the backyard, a, a family with some kids, said, no, they're okay. You cannot, they say, if they have Alzheimer's or any, any kind of uh, dementia, don't try to convince them that they're wrong because they're going to fight to the, to the, to the you know, basically to the death sometimes because what they see is what they believe. Okay, so that's why it's difficult if somebody has a delusion, just step back, okay, you're God. Fine, no problem. But what we ended up doing is having uh, some video cameras, security cameras in the house, so that if my mom walked out, we could, you know, because I lived in Phoenix and my uh, sister lived in Cass Grant. So we had those, and this is one, this is December, this past December, after my mom, again, passed away in August, and her chihuahua would come out at night. So this is, and take a look and tell me what you think about this. So. That's a security camera. Button. See that? What do you think? Yes? No? It's objective. Something there. Let me show you, show you again. You know, when I saw that, I was like, damn, this is, oh, hello. See, it stops. Dogs and cats tend to pick up, I believe, on energy. <clears throat> There's one, and then see. And, and, I, and I, it, it, it doesn't look like an orb orb. It looks like it's flying in. But from where? My wife said, oh, it's probably like a, a rat or something. Like, no, it can't. It's coming up from this. But what is cool, like I said, it, it flies around, goes under there, comes back, and then fades away. Isn't that wild? 
So that really, to me, that's like, what is really real? There's so many things that we don't know that are out there. How can you be for sure? What are your thoughts? What are you guys thinking? Am I nuts? Did I up my medication? <laughs> what do you think? Have you searched for any more ghosts? Or any more? No? How long ago was that? Four months ago. Yeah. Would anybody want to go into any ghost surgery? Where would you, where would you, where is, is there a place that you'd want to go check it out just to see if you pick up anything? Yeah. Yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, like I said, again, understand, I've got the, you know, my culture-wise and then I've got also the scientific. I can't figure it out. I'm trying to think. That is not dust, what floated around. So and I, and I uploaded this uh, second part just a little bit later too. Where see she came out, see how they're they fly around, and this is again it's dark. There's a lot of activity that night. You know, they, and some of the the people would think, oh, okay, it's just bugs flying around. So the hell, a lot of bugs in my my parents' house. That that can't be right. No, see how they quickly they got. Kind of so the ones that you're looking at were they flickering, like these? They kind of flicker. Yeah. You know, it's just one of those like wow. You can watch more if you want uh, on there. But but that's one of the things you think about: what is real, what is not real. How do we do this? How do we figure this out? I don't know. What do you guys... What are your thoughts? <laughs>